over time has built up. No, if you are not built, you can't carry his presence. If you are not built, you can't carry his glory. If you are not built, you can never be victorious. That's why for every one of you here and those of you online, your, your goal is that at the end of the day, God must build you. That, that is what should give you joy. That is what should make you very gleeful in life. Knowing that God has processed you. God has built you. Because if it is not God that is building you, something else must be building you. If it is not God that is processing you, something else. But I pray for you. In your own case, may it be God that will process you. May it not be the company of friends that will process you. May it not be any witch or wizard that will process you. But may God Almighty process you by himself. Somebody shout, God will process me. Shout, a God will make me. Your making is in his hands. It will take God to process you. It will take God to build you victoriously. Ah, I just said in my spirit, in less than five days, somebody will become a finished product. I said in less than five days, somebody will enter inexplicable victory. In less than five days, something that is conspicuously missing in your life, as God begins to process you, that thing is entering your life. If you believe you are the one, rise up and jump on your feet and shout, I am the one. God must build Kingsley so I can carry his glory. God must build mommy so she can shine. You know why a lot of people are not attractive physically and spiritually? It's because they are not built. Can I go further? The reason why you are not attractive spiritually and when I'm talking of attraction, I'm not talking of beauty. I'm not talking of you wear makeup. I'm not talking of your sport. You're not talking of winsome looks or how standing you are. No. There is a way you can be physically attractive but in the spirit you stink. In the spirit you are very ugly. Are you with me at all? God told me if people are not built into becoming victorious, they can't carry an attraction. Listen, for you to become sought after, somebody to leave Europe, leave America, leave Asia, and come and look for your product, God must have built you. That's why it takes time for a victorious church or a victorious infantry to emerge. It takes time. By the time God builds you, somebody will pay for his own ticket, pay for his own hotel, just because they want to hear you. What makes people desire you is when you are built. What makes somebody have sleepless night because of you is because you are built. If you are not truly built, listen to me, nobody will look for you. Why somebody would drive from Batuna? Drive from Batuna. Bypass a lot of saloons. Enter Jolo and go and do the hair at through this place. It's not because she's beautiful. It's not because she has skill. It's because God must build you. So somebody will be willing to live where they are. To come to where you are. Because you are big, you carry an attraction. So somebody is looking for you to favor you. So if your life is devoid of favor, it's a sign that you are not built by God. But I stand in my office as God's oracle. After today's teaching, may you carry an attraction of the Holy Ghost. May God build you to be attractive. People will travel from Asia. People will travel from America. People will travel from Europe and look for you. They will desire you. Why? Because God Almighty has built you. I speak into your life. May God raise some people today and may God splash them with grace of attraction. Receive that grace. Receive that anointing. Receive that attraction. Rise up and shout, I take it by fire. Listen, if God builds you, opportunities will be knocking at your door. Listen, there are many preachers in Europe. That's the truth. Enter London. 
There are great men of God. Enter America. They are great men of God. Enter America. They are powerful worship leaders. Enter Europe. Powerful. Enter Nigeria. Powerful. So for somebody to live, or for somebody in America to say, man of God, I want you to travel to America. I will pay for your ticket. In fact, which class do you want? Tell, tell us, we'll buy it. Put you in a good hotel. Is it because you can preach? No. They have good preachers. Is it because you can prophesy ditto, ditto? No. There are prophets in that place you are going. So what is making somebody spent to bring you so that you can speak? Is because you are built. You carry an attraction. There is something they cannot explain. But it's inside you. And by reason of your product, they are willing to come from far and near. I speak over somebody's life. I don't know the business you are doing. I don't know what you are doing in life. Huh? But by reason of God building you from today, people will travel to look for you. People will desire your product. Receive that grace. Huh? Receive that anointing. Somebody shout, I am the one. Rex, somebody must leave New Zealand. Somebody must leave Fiji. Somebody must leave Germany and say, listen, we love your product. We want you to come to Hamburg and do a concert. Is it because there are no singers in Hamburg? No! It's because you have been processed. God has built you. And that, that building process has made you attractive. So opportunity is knocking at your door. <laughs> so if you are not enjoying benefits. You are not enjoying testimonies. God, the Bible says he loads us with testimonies on daily basis. So if you are not enjoying testimonies, it's most likely you have not been built. Listen, I have, I've, I've had people in my life that would tell me, Osofu, peace of mind. So because of your, because God has built you, somebody can sleep. Because the person knows he, he or she is an answer to a need in your life. Am I talking to somebody at all? You are not ready for this message. Between now and 6 p.m., as God is building you from today, between now and 6 p.m., I prophesy with my telescopic eyes, 17 of you, you will hear good news. I say you will hear good news. You will hear good news. Receive it by fire. church. We are building a victorious people. Why in that office they will promote you? It's because you are built. And when God builds you, eh, protocols can be suspended. You can be in the office in less than three years and yet they have promoted you. Because you are built. You are, you are prepared. God has fortified you for that apogee. I just said in my spirit, Seven people here, you are working in private companies. You are working for people. That says the Lord. After this teaching, get ready for a mind-boggling promotion. I say, get ready for a mind-boggling promotion. If you believe you are the one, shout it, I am the one. So God must build you. So that you can enjoy inexplicable opportunities. Every one of you sitting here, you are looking for something. Talk to me, don't pretend. Every one of us sitting here, there is something you are believing God for. All of us have a need. The Bible said in Psalm 107 20, he sent forth his word, his word healed them, his word delivered them from destruction. Everybody has something you are believing God to deliver you from. There is a need, there is an expectation. Can I tell you something? Yeah. By the time August is over, that need will be met in your life. I don't like your vibration this morning. Is it because you are looking traditional? I prophesy with my telescopic eyes. Between now and end of August, you will jump with your testimony. You will jump with your miracle. Rise up and shout fire. <laughs> Listen, look at me. You see, God has blessed house of consecration. We have a very beautiful house. Oh, let's, I'm not saying this out of exaggeration. But the truth of, you can't count 10 churches in Adenta in terms of beauty and you will not include this here. No, that's the truth. I'm not exaggerating. In Adenta, you can't count 10 churches. So, 
God has given us a very immaculate auditorium. Very magnificent edifice. Come on, are you here? You have gone somewhere. The architectural design is very saccharine and superlative. <laughs> beautiful architectural design. But do you know the mystery? As beautiful as this architectural design is, we can't live in on this design. Should I repeat myself? The architectural design is paper. We cannot live inside paper. So somebody will enter. Wow, we love your ambience. This architectural design is powerful. It's true. It's powerful. But you can't live inside the paper. The architectural design is paper. Is it not paper? Until the building is on ground, nobody can live in it. So for the architectural design to make sense, it has to be on ground. The building must be done. Their building must be complete. Follow this teaching. On. Because if it's not completed, who is going to keep the paper? Who is going to live? How will you have praise inside the paper? How will I preach inside the paper? So as powerful as the design is, it has to be on ground. You know why a lot of prodigious opportunities are leaving people? Because people are not built. Of course, there is an architectural design for every one of you sitting here. God has an architectural design for everybody. Everybody from me to the last person. Every one of us. Have this at the back of your head. There is an architectural. See, I have an architectural design. Shout it. I have an architectural design. Every one of you watching this Mercurial broadcast, listen to me and listen to me well. There is an architectural design. God has ordained for your life. That's the truth. It's just like Jabez. Now listen. First, don't forget this. For God to release your design into a building. For your design to become a reality of a building. God must build you. Are you with me at all? Now, God told me something a few days ago. And I like you to write this. Because he spoke to me like in meditation. Are you ready to write? He said, and I told mommy this, when I got, I think, I told her, yeah. God told me, somebody can be in a powerful church, powerful ministry, and yet, the person is defeated. Somebody can be in a church like house of consecration. Oh boy, the power of God is here. Talk to me. The glory is here. I mean the effulgence of God's palpable presence. You can't deny it in this house. I've seen people who joined this church. Let me excuse my language. They were non-entities. But today, by God's grace, they are high flyers. We have seen people who were very impoverished. They didn't have a car. Today they have cars. We have seen people who didn't have jobs. But today, they have businesses. We have seen people who did they have lands to their name? But today, they don't only have lands, they have properties. It's somebody for me. So, by all standards, the power of God is here. Come on. God has blessed us with a very quintessential teacher. Very ravishing first lady. You are jealous, that's why you are not shouting. So, we are complete. Powerful pearls. The members themselves are honorables. So that is the kind of grace in this house. There are people who married, they, didn't, they were not having children. God, through this ministry, has blessed them with children. So God is always doing signs and wonders. But guess what? In all this blessing in this house, some people can still be here and they are living a defeated life. You don't know a man can be inside river and still be thirsty. You know why? Because they are refusing to drink water. You can be in a victorious church and yet you are living a very defeated life. Two things. Number one, it's because you are not tapping the grace in the house. You are not connected to the grace in the house. If I see you after service and I say, oh, you are in ACM, you should be embarrassed. That means I don't know you. 
How can I have children and I don't know them? My biological children. How can somebody come to me? Do you know King Sridawi? Who is that? So if you are in eight year, you have never close to say hello, daddy. You are not with us. Your point out also on Pekasa. I said, demons who drown on the Alpekasa. There are people in this church, they are not making progress. You know why? Because they have not allowed themselves to be built by God. They have not allowed themselves to be built by God. That is where the problem is. They are refusing to be built by God. In subsequent series, eh, I will show you why people refuse. Yeah. I like the way the place is quiet now. So it's like the message is permeating. You, you can't be a bona fide member. I'm telling you the gospel truth. In house of consecration, you are consistent. You are faithful. You are committed. And your problem will last forever. It's not possible. It's not possible. I'm not saying you will not encounter problem. But that problem has an expiry date. You can't suffer forever. Then God didn't call me. But if God truly called me to this commission, every problem has an expiry date. And in our month of victory, Calabosia, I speak over your life. That problem shall expire. That delay shall be terminated. Rise up and shall terminate. Listen, tonight, eh, don't miss Holy Ghost service. Eh? Because tonight, I'm going to speak on the serpent must die. Listen, we have to enforce our victory this month. I'm telling you. And tonight, what the beauty about this service tonight is I'm going to anoint everybody. You know why? Because I saw death unleashed from now to December. I saw death unleashed. Not on, on the church alone. I mean, in the system. So God told me, anoint everybody. I beg you, if your mother is around, your father is around, your children, whoever you, bring the person here so that I can anoint the person's head. For divine indemnity. Death has been unleashed. The enemy has released death. But listen, just like in the days of the Israelites, when death was passing through Egypt, God's children were preserved. And the enemies of God perished. I speak over you. As I anoint you tonight, death will bypass you by fire. I said death will bypass you by fire. So tonight, 6 30 sharp. You should be here. Look at somebody, tell the person, don't miss service. Don't miss service. You have to be here. Are you enjoying the teaching? Listen. God doesn't introduce you from where you are. God introduces you from where you are coming. Can I expand that? Do you want me to explain what I said? You remember in the book of Judges, chapter 6, the Midianites, you know, God came down in the days of Gideon. And this was because the Midianites made life very, very intricate, very cumbersome for God's people. The Midianites tormented God's children. They afflicted them. These Midianites were demons. In fact, they went to the farmlands of God's children, the Israelites, and burnt it with fire. They made them very poor and impoverished. These Midianites were supposed to be the brothers of God's children. That's for another day. The Midianites, they were brothers. And yet they turned against their own brothers. They started frustrating the Israelites. Dealt with them. They made them useless. They made them non-entities. These Midianites, until God's children began to cry. And God heard them. And God came down. Follow me. When God came down, he went straight to Gideon. Judges 6, put it there, the verse 12. He went straight to Gideon. He said, Gideon, thou mighty man of valor. <laughs> Gideon laughed. Look at me, look at me. When God came to Gideon, Gideon was busy hiding behind the backyard 
of the enemies of God, the Midianites, breaking kennels to eat. Then God appears to him and says, oh boy, you are a mighty man of valor. He doesn't say, are you sure you are talking to the right person? Me, mighty man of valor. You can see I'm eating kennels. Do you see mightiness in eating kennels? <laughs> mighty man of valor. And yet I am, I am from the least of all the tribes of Israel. Mighty man of valor. Yet very poor, very frustrated, downtrodden. No, thank you for your humorous compliment. But I think you have a wrong address. It cannot be me. Yet God said, you are a mighty man of valor. You know why? God was not introducing Gideon from where he was. God was introducing Gideon from where he's coming from. <laughs> Gideon is saying he's a destitute. He's poor. Why? Because Gideon is looking at reality. And God too is saying you are a mighty man of valor from the original architectural design. When I made you Gideon, I made you a mighty man of valor. So God is not introducing him from his suffering, from the place of being poor, from the place of being a destitute. No, God is introducing Gideon from the original architectural design. I made you a mighty man of valor. I made you. Gideon, you are seeing poverty, I am seeing affluence. Gideon, you are seeing lack, I am seeing abundance. Gideon could not reconcile God's architectural design over his life versus his apparent problem. He had an original design. God had an original blueprint. God had an original plan for Gideon. Is somebody following me at all? The question you ask yourself is, how do I enter God's original design? Through a building process. God must build you to enter what he has ordained for your life. That was the case in Jabez's life. First Chronicles 4.9 Bible introduced Jabez to us as more honorable than his brethren. The question is you ask the Bible, not me. When did he become more honorable? Because the guy from day one was living in the slums. The guy was useless. The guy, even at age 40, no wife, no children, no business. But God still said, why? Because God will always be looking at the original architectural design. You sit in this auditorium and you tell yourself, you are done. You tell yourself, marriage, maybe it's for some people. Prosperity is for some people. To drive a good car is for some people. To be a real estate developer is for some people. And yet God is saying, you are a mighty man. Over. Will I ever conceive? God is seeing quadruplet. Because that is the original design. Look at somebody tell the person, there is an original design. Listen, there is nothing you are today or I am today. Okay. You know, my biological brother, Honorable, was a deputy minister for defense. Do you think God was surprised when he became a deputy minister? Talk to me. Was he surprised? Because it was in the original architectural design. What brought him into reality is a building process. I hope somebody is following me. On. So there is an original design. Just like, you see, your situation is just like Gideon. He couldn't believe he was a big boy. He couldn't believe he was a mighty man of valor. And God kept reminding him, Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. There is somebody sitting here today. By the time this teaching is over, your eyes will open. God will build you to enter the original architectural design. Somebody shout, I am the one. Shout it, I am the one. Look at somebody, I to I will tell the person, do everything possible. To make the original plan come to pass in your life. Everything God has ordained is in the original plan. Oh yeah. And God is the one ordering your steps. God is the one building you. 
You may think it was coincidental. You met somebody that helped you. No, it's part of the building process. God knows how to order your steps. Don't enter here, enter there. Go at this time. Have you realized sometimes you want to go out at a certain time and for some reason something will delay you. Then the next few 30 minutes of delay, when you go out, you meet somebody. But you didn't take time to ask her. If you had gone an hour earlier, you may have missed this person. He's the one building you. He's the one building you. That's why in God, nothing is lost. Talk to me. Are you here? You have gone somewhere. In God, in Christ, you don't lose anything. It's a building process. It's what? A building process. <laughs> so that you can become powerful. In Matthew chapter 16, the verse 18, Jesus said, upon this rock, upon the revelation of God's word, the rock there is the revelation of God's word. So, he will build the church. He will build the church. He will build the people upon the revelation of the word of God. Remember one day Jesus, I mean when you start reading from the verse 12 or 13, when G Jesus was taking a stroll with his disciples, then he asked them a very elementary question. He said, what do men say of me? Or what do men say that I am? You remember? Talk to me. You remember that question? Then all of them started saying, okay, some say you are Isaiah. Some two are saying you are Jeremiah. Some two are saying perhaps you are Ezekiel. Some two are saying you are one of the prophets. He said, okay, you have told me the opinions of people. You that is with me. You that know me. What do you think? They were all quiet. No, think about it. They have followed Jesus for a couple of years now. And now he's asking them, you have told me what people are saying. You that are with me, what will you say to people? What do you think of me? Who do you think I am? They were quiet. When I read that, I said, wow. So there can be people coming to church Sunday after Sunday, Friday after Friday, Holy Ghost after Holy Ghost, and yet they don't know God. These were disciples. So all they knew about Jesus was a bread and a fish multiplier. All they knew about Jesus was the fact that this man could walk on water. All they knew that this man was very magnanimous, very kind. That's all they knew. They saw a pious man, a consecrated man. That's all they knew. The Lord told me something this dawn. I think around 3.30. You know what he told me? He said, every man's anointing starts from the day you know who you are following. Everybody's anointing, man or woman, it starts the day you discover who Christ truly is in your life. A lot of people are following the God of their pastor, but they don't know the God for themselves. The day you know you are anointed, it's when you have a revelation of who you are following. All of them were quiet. Are you not surprised? So is it possible for somebody to be with me for many years and yet the person doesn't know me? It's possible. That's why sometimes people can do things and you wonder, how can such a person do this? Doesn't the person know who you are? Recently I was telling some people, a, a colleague of mine in London, he's a pastor, that some people broke and stole some by Sunny house job. Before I finish talking, you know what he said? He said, but don't they know you can see? I said, I've cursed them already. I've cursed them already. <laughs> and the people who stole before, I've added them. My feature of money now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a divine feature. <laughs> My feature of money now. Preaching. You are preaching. Are you enjoying the message? Yes. Then, whilst they were all quiet, suddenly, by some upset of the Holy Ghost, by some power of the Holy Ghost, within Peter, Peter lifted up his hands. He said, Sir, I know. He said, What is it? Thou art the Christ, 
The son of the living God. Kabaya. Zubra katata. You know, there are some depths you will never discover until you go deeper with God. Can I prophesy to you? What will make you ten times better than your contemporaries? After today, as God is beginning to build you, that grace will pillow upon you. I say, what will make people and uh, make you ten times better than your people receive grace for that thing to enter your life? You know what Jesus said to Peter? He said, oh boy, this thing you have said, flesh and blood can never reveal it to you. You can never look at it. And Jesus answered unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood did not reveal this, but my Father, which is in heaven. What an exclusive privilege. Oh, may your Father in heaven this week reveal some mysteries to you. In that same office, may you discover something that will hasten and accelerate your promotion. In your own business, may you receive an idea this week that will push the business to another level. Receive that grace. Receive that power. So those of you in school, your father can open your eyes to read specific areas. Yeah. So when people are reading everything, you're only reading some things. I remember years ago, the church we have on campus, I used to do a breakthrough. Oh, the prophetic was sharp. A breakthrough. We are supposed in our service. Maybe. Because one person will pass your more exams. Then those days too, when we enter prayer, Pastor Mark is my witness. The Lord will open my eyes. I will start calling. Philo 101. This is what is going. Ah, people are ready writing. On part of the to open a book. When I was in Lagos, when is exams time? There's a place where, where we were, there was a common room. The time we boost cotton up and that boy is never turned. I said, Jack, can you maybe a walk? And I was like, it doesn't work like that. Too. <laughs> I had this friend there. When he comes and I'm sleeping, there's a way I lie. So when I wake up, I was like, I was like, I'm going to die. I said, it doesn't work like that. I need magic. Sometimes you need an atmosphere. Remember I told you in South Africa when I went to preach in a business conference, then the following day, all these big time business tycoons, big boys, they lined up in front of my hotel. Then I said, what's your name? Mm -mm. What do you do? Mm -mm. Where are you from? Mm -mm. So I went to my friend. I said, what, what is with me and these deaf and dumb people? He said, man, I go, no, no, no. I prep talk them. I said, what did you tell them? I told them you can see, you know everything. So they shouldn't mention their name, phone number, nothing. Then I also pulled him to the side. I said, my friend, it doesn't work like that. Too. <laughs> and for pressure, mommy and obey. We need an atmosphere. I'm not those kind of people you can provoke to say what God doesn't say. Me who am me Wait, much. Most people who petition me to look into things for them, they will be honest with you. When they call me and say, I've not seen anything yet. Give me time. So open and tell me any walk over here. So allow me, if it's three days, allow me three days. I see a brand channel, please do something about it, do something about it, do something about it. It's a matter of destiny. Who will be? Who can tell me? If you are 9 a.m., who has a friend at 12 noon? It's my way. Now, who will be state? I'm going to go. 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 Because aside receiving your life, I mean giving your life to Christ, another important decision in life is marriage. So when you come and talk to me about somebody, give me time to pray about it. Because we'll be today, our plans will be mommy pressure, keep your pressure. To me, mommy, three days, sir. then three days cross my heart. A journey of a lifetime. Give me three days to download the, the download the individual. You are saying it's too much. Yeah, buffu can so to me catch you say, Daddy, we can we okay into the shadow and young with my brain. You know, some women eh, love is that's why some people say love is blind. What you need to do? What you need to do? 
Then anyway, your sister not told you. Your baby never said, What year should be doing? Those that will be a tense. Who will be no a tense? No one was a suspect. Look at somebody, I bought, I bought. Tell the best. Who, who, who were you falling in love inside? Ask her. Man, what year? What was it? I said, That is the only one here. I come on a cry, and you will be. I had taught to be a big cry. I'll break your mass. Put your hands together for the Lord. Jesus said, Peter, upon this rock, upon the revelation you have of me. Don't forget, Jesus is the word. That's why every opportunity you sit in the house of God is an opportunity to receive revelation of God's word. Because it is God's word that makes you better than your contemporaries. Upon this rock, upon this revelation, I will build my church. Oh, may God build somebody today. And what will happen? And the gates of Hades, the gates of hell, shall not prevail. Do you know what it means? It means it will take God to build you first so you can prevail over hell. If you are not built, you can never overcome the gates of hell. That's why even Nazari demon can torment you. Abediaba. Abediaba keke. Can scare you. There are people like that. The gate of sickness, gate of poverty, it can never prevail if you are built. If you are truly built upon your revelation of God's word, high blood pressure naturally dies in your life. John, this disappears upon the revelation. When God builds you, you can overcome anything in life. He said, when you are built, you prevail. What happens? You prevail. I'm going to end it here, but listen. The truth of the matter is, when reality dawns on you, when reality dawns on you, I may not be around. Sometimes eh, you encounter some problems. Your father in the Lord may not be there. The pastors will not be there to pray for you. The people that intercede on your behalf, they will not be there. When reality dawns, what saves you is when you are built. When you are built, you can fight the devil of your destiny. When you are built, you don't depend on somebody's prayer to overcome. You know why you are always looking for prayer? And people have turned you into a prayer project. Because you are not built. Because we are not built. You are not built. Listen, when the devil encounters a child of God that is built, he runs away. When you meet him, ask him. When he meets a child of God that carries fire. Oh boy. That child of God may not have a Mercedes. May not have a mansion. But carries fire. Because you can be driving a Mercedes and you don't carry fire. You can be living in a mansion. And yet you don't carry fire. A mosquito demon can chase you out of your mansion. I'm telling you. But you are This one, man of God. It's like these days, some things are happening. That's what some people do. A man of God was telling me how. I said, So, how did you get this? I said, Man of God, I was what's not coming on your machine. Years ago, mommy was into deco. She used to do when people are doing weddings and all that. Then I went to Koforidia one time. She had done some deco for some church like that. I can't still have a picture of her. I can't even see her. I can't even see her. 
So I told mommy, let me take you to go and take your stuff because now the workers know all that. When we drove to the place, <laughs> one of his protocol officers saw me approaching. So I told mommy, you Ben Scar to a green number and I trim. So I told mommy, let's go. I mean, I'm a pastor. Let me just say hello to the man of God. Came crying, I mean, trust Immediately we entered. Problem, problem, problem. Okay, me, I'm say problem. Problem, problem, problem. No, see, transit. So, woman who can, who is who I Problem. I mean, who said, who you shoot bends? If you are truly called, the Ushia Yonko software will be home. Iron sharp net, iron deep, call it unto thee. The one I'm who's why you're not. After God was saying, ah, as I watch radio, or come out, me, me, radio. Now, when you're a you'll be a soul, whatever. Me, you're a teacher, look at me, I'm a teacher, me. Hey, come out, me, call her, crada. For me, when you say, ah, Miss Eight, you say, ah, I'm a teacher. So, 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 now, pay. To make a congregation, come on, so, what, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm training college, baby, I'm going to say, I'm What's the meaning about? It's a problem, you know? I've got to say, what's the meaning about? Then you swore, shit. And then I say, I'm going to say, then you swore, shit. Just what the hell man comes and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, a train I'm catching say, I'm a man of God. Have you known the answer, sir? I say, I say, you know, I can't one. 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 But you want to make a Hey, what's your traditional? You want to make a tour. And you're bringing it. But you want to make a tour. What's it here? What's it here? Through the OCD, red beans. <laughs> so you have this kind of people. So if God doesn't build you, you'll be a victim of some of these people. You have to be built. Are you with me at all? Oh, I speak over you right now. That before August sunrises, may God build you to the level He has ordained for you. You will not make mistakes in this life. Every door that is open that God did you open. As God begins to build you, you will know that this is not a door God has ordained for me. And God will close that door right before you. I speak over somebody's life. That after today, any demon messing in your life, messing your family, messing your business. Because God is building you, those demons shall flee by fire. I said they shall flee by fire. Somebody rise up and shout, flee by fire. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. We'll continue. We'll continue. You can overcome anything when you are built. He said, I will build upon this revelation. When next we gather, I will show you about two ways how God builds you into his architectural design. You have to, tell somebody, you have to become the architectural design. He will be with you now, and say, my dear, who is you? Tell somebody by you, tell somebody by you, don't look down on yourself. Look at somebody, I bought to eyeball, tell the person, hey, who is you? In crying over can In crying over can say? J what? She will be in the kitchen and say, Jay, but my baby, you. I go so back and say, Again, she will be in the kitchen and say, Many are my view. A traditional 17 and me call the Akasem. In front of us, what can I say? Eh? Front of us, what can I say? I'm the brother for grabbing food. Oh, yes, small person. She will be in the kitchen and say, Oh, yes, small person. If I told you, I'm going to fit up with a full man in your mind. Hey, if I'm in boy. Hey, if I'm in boy. I'm going to say, 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 I
Yo vieni na kacheza, onye ni baatwa. Aha, hwani ya jano. Bro fo. Mwa kanisa. Mwacho ya bro. Mwacho ya kanisa. Ana onte bro. Ye mwacho onte bro. Ana bro fo nkabi. Sai na mwa kanu. Same thing. Onye ni paketwa sa. Okay. Na esro fo so e. Not na bia ni ya. Aha, mama ya sai. Bacho can be why na baby ready here. I say I done it tongues. What out here? I can't mean to. Say what here? Ne katre, here ne katre. I can't even fwa. I just say what me. But some can say my Jesus. When you come where we are, your pump will go be teaser today. Lift up your two hands. Say my father, my father. This morning, as my hands are lifted, build me, Lord, into a victorious church. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, whatever it takes for me to be built by the power of the Holy Ghost, build me now. Build me now. Say, Lord, from today, build me to be attractive. Build me for opportunities. To knock at my door. In the name of Jesus. Say Lord. As you are building me. Let me overcome. The gates of hell. The gates of disease. The gates of poverty. The gates of bad luck. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Masakatakataya. Rebokotolobo satata. Malianto arikadesa. Zabakutele makute katakaya. Rako Sekete Ilabakatos In the name of Jesus Now put your two hands on your head Let me pray for you Eternal Father we have just taken off In the journey of building us Into a victorious people and a church I speak vehemently That from today As they have received the engrafted word Lord build them Let the gates of hell never prevail let them carry fire. Fire that will intimidate the devil and his cohorts. From today, no darkness will be comfortable around them because you have built them. Let people travel from far and near and come and drink from their wisdom. Come and drink from their giftings. Come and drink from their potentials. In the name of Jesus, I bless everyone today. From the crown of their heads to the very sole of their feet. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, keep clapping. Alright, we are going to come to the communion table. I'd like you to stretch forth your hand towards the table.